I'm gonna show you a trick to cloning your own clothes. Cloning your clothes means taking a garment that you already have and tracing it onto paper or fabric to be able to recreate it and sew it together yourself. It's a great option if you don't wanna buy sewing patterns, they could be a little bit pricey, which reminds me, I have free sewing patterns on my website if anyone's interested. I have a few right now. There's a link in the description below and I'm gonna keep building that database of free patterns for everyone. The beauty of cloning your own clothes is that all the tools you need are in your closet already. It's clothes that you've worn and you know the fit, you know the size, you know you like it. So when you clone it onto your fabric, you'll be able to recreate it exactly the same. But I'm gonna share a trick of how you could do that a little bit easier. I'll show you this with a pair of jeans that I worked on. These are patches that I added on, which if you wanna do it as well, just search up GA004. So let's say I wanted to clone this. The trick is to fold them inside out. So typically the process that I've seen for cloning clothes is you buy craft paper because it's very thick, it's rigid so it can hold its shape when you're using these panels over and over again. You put clothes onto this craft paper, press it down, and then draw an anticipated 3 8 of an inch seam allowance onto the edges of all the fabric. However, I flip the clothes inside out and I think this really helps. There's two benefits to this. One, it's way easier to flatten out your fabric and also press out the seams when it's inside out. And secondly, this doesn't apply to all fabrics, but a good amount of them will have the seam allowance out. So all you have to do is trace around the entire fabric and that will include the seam allowance instead of trying to visualize three eighths of the seam allowance while you're tracing. That way you could be that much more precise when you're cloning the clothes to get the exact fabric measurements. And you can even measure their seam allowance and use that same measurement to replicate the clothes even more so the same. If this tip is helpful for you and you're looking for other sewing tips, I'm gonna be dropping a lot more two minute easy to watch videos they're going to be on my playlist seems too true or i'm going to release some insights and advice if you're looking on getting to someone it's a great place to start so until next time peace